Goodness me, it's cold in here, Taz. It's freezing. It's so cold. In fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. give me some blanket. Don't steal the blanket. I've only got shorts on. Blanket. That's not my problem how you dress. Can we do something about this room, don't you? Definitely, Taz. It needs a heater. That old box unit needs to go. <laughs> right, I'm blanket getting blanket. to work. Come on. Blanket. Come on. Come and help. So this room's getting a makeover to warm it up. We need new paint and a more unified look. The sliding doors currently hit the entertainment unit, so we're going to fix both. We're going to add a feature light and give the coffee table an extra function. Plus, to really add some warmth, we're putting in a reverse cycle air conditioner. To repair the hole left by the old aircon, I'm just framing it up, then adding a plaster patch and filling the gap. When you're choosing a paint colour for your walls, you know it's really important to bear in mind the colour of your floor. Now, if you take a look here, you can see these old boards, well, they were varnished at one stage, and as they've aged, they've just gone yellow, almost orange. So that, combined with the old wall colour, just makes it look really drab in here. So I thought I'd freshen things up and just give it a contemporary edge by going with white. Right, I've got all the pieces for this entertainment unit prime. Now it's time to assemble. For the look, I'm sticking to one that you've probably seen before, but it's going to work perfect in our corner because it's going to give us an area to sit the TV while creating more storage. Pendant lighting, well, it can make a real statement in a room, but the trouble is for a sizeable pendant, it can really set you back a pretty penny, but not if you make it yourself. Now, I went to Bunnings and found some of this aluminium bar. It's pretty easy to bend. I'm just forming up two rectangles, each one joined using zinc bolts. Then a couple of circles attached to the rectangle's top and bottom. For some extra zhuzh, I'm hitting it with bronze spray paint. For the shade, I'm using some sheer black fabric stitched into a loop. That's it, all done. Super easy and super affordable. To accommodate our new entertainment unit, I need to turn these two doors into one. But to do the job is very basic. I'm just using these aluminium brackets and I'm going to put to the top of both doors and then another to the bottom. And job's done. Oh, now it might weigh a ton, but how nice does this look? And it does exactly what we need it to. It doesn't slot into the cabinet. Perfect fit, mate. It was like it was meant to be there. Last time you saw this, it was a plain box. Now, I've made the top exactly the same as the bottom. To give it a real built-in look, I've added timber beading on the panels, the skirting and the corners. The wooden coffee table that was in the lounge room before is in really good condition. It just needs a bit of a makeover. So instead of plain paint, I thought we'd go one step further and up it by making it into a padded, luxurious ottoman. So the cheapest way to buy foam is to actually buy a foam mattress and then cut it to size. You'll also need a base. Then with the foam marked up, I'm snipping through it where my buttons will go. The next step is to use some wadding. Now, you don't have to use this, but I think it always gives you a much more professional finish. Just use a staple gun and you can just tack it lightly in place on the reverse and that'll just hold it steady while you put the fabric on. Chosen this really nice charcoal fabric that should complement the sofa beautifully and it's an upholstery weight. How are we going, Taz? Going well. Do you want to help? Yeah, well, I've finished in there and I'm absolutely freezing so I need to keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got button head screws here and just some little washers on the end there. Staple the fabric underneath and glue on the decorative buttons. With the furniture all sorted, the aircon goes in. Some final touches to draw the look together, including artwork, a lamp, and a rug. And this room looks a whole lot more inviting. Here we go, last but not least. Stars, round of applause. Hey. <laughs> it's so much better getting rid of the ugly old AC and just replacing with a new one. That's right. And Taz, obviously you're a little bit sick and you've worked very hard, so you deserve to sit down and I relax do. I do, I do, I do. We've got a nice warm room. <laughs> we don't need the blankie anymore. I need to go home soon, <laughs> I think.